Hi everyone, my name is Amanda Chambers and welcome to my tutorial on Advanced Bibliographic Searching in OCLC Connection. In this tutorial, you will learn how to perform command line searching using index labels and qualifiers. Specifically, I will introduce you to three types of searches, keyword, phrase, and derived searching. First, log into OCLC Connection. I'm using the web browser, but these steps will also work in the client software, although it will look slightly different. Click the search button in the upper left hand corner. The command line is located here. We use index labels in the command line to build searches. Index labels are two letter abbreviations, for example, TI for title or AU for author. You can find a short list of index labels here in the drop down menu in the keyword numeric search box. You can also find an extensive list of index labels in OCLC's documentation, which I will link at the end of this video. For keyword searches, put a colon after the index label, for example, title colon princess diarist. Note that initial articles are omitted and there is no space between the colon and first word. If you want to search for an exact phrase, use an equal sign after the index label. This kind of search will only return the exact phrase that you enter. As you can see, this search retrieved too many titles to sort through. We can limit our results by using more than one index label. For example, I can add the author and even the publisher if I know it. This produces a much more manageable list of results. You can also use qualifiers to refine your searches. Qualifiers are three-letter abbreviations for format, language, and cataloging source, among other things. Dates can also be added as qualifiers. Just add a slash and the desired qualification, for example, Here I'm going to use VIS for visual materials and add the date. A complete list of qualifiers can be found on OCLC's support page. One thing to note is that qualifiers must be added at the end of your search and no more than four can be used at a time. Another kind of search that can be done in the command line is the derived search. This kind of search requires the user to use the derivative formulas, which can be found here in the document that I showed earlier. An example of a derived search is the name title search, where the index label ND is combined with the first four letters of the author's last name and the first four letters of the title. Derived searches are not used as often because of their higher degree of difficulty, but you may find them useful for constructing very precise searches. Of course, command line searching doesn't have to be that complicated. It can also be used to perform simple ISBN searches or OCLC number searches. No index label is needed for an ISBN search. For an OCLC number search, simply add an asterisk before the number. This has been Advanced Bibliographic Searching in OCLC Connection. Thank you for joining me. 
Be sure to check out these links for more information.